talk about the number of people who are signing up for new tax IDs as a sign of right. um, new business development, new businesses yeah. being started in this country. It's skyrocketing. You know, if, if you're going to start a business, you need a tax ID, and the tax ID applications are going up at a rate that I've never seen. Not only are they going up at a much faster rate than they were when President Trump took office, but they're accelerating. They're, go they're really going to the moon right now, and that's a sign that we've once again created a vibrant economy where businesses want to get going and, and operate it, and it's exactly what President Trump promised he would do. <clears throat> President Trump's critics claiming that the recent trade disputes with China are hurting businesses. But our next guest says that under the president, startups are booming. Here now is e-signature guarantee founder Seth Farman. Seth, you're known as a serial startup guy. So what is it like doing business now in this Income economy. This economic uh, I, I think we're in a tremendous opportunity for anybody that has an idea to launch a company right now. Um, one of our companies, VCheck Global, was just named to the Inc. 5000, and they did a poll, and they said that 70% of the CEOs feel that we are in an environment that's as supportive of startups and entrepreneurship as ever before. So uh, I think we're, we're people have to take advantage of that opportunity right now. So what's been the biggest change? You know, as you know, in the last two quarters, we've had a record number of startups, first time in a generation that's really ginned up. What are the specific things that are getting people uh, saying, let's go for it? You know, I think that the uh, opportunity to be able to tell your story ver on different platforms, whether it's LinkedIn or Instagram, is giving people the chance to reach an audience that historically they never could. They would just put out a press release and hope that somebody reads their story or shows up at their, at their front door. Um, at the same time, with such a large audience, a startup has to really be able to capture the attention of that audience and really be able to add value. Uh, otherwise, having that platform isn't going to add any value. So, Seth, we run venture capital funds, Rosecliff Ventures. Um, we have over 70 companies in our portfolio, and we meet new and exciting companies all the time. Uh, I think one thing that we're seeing right now is people have a phone in their pocket, a high, which is a high-powered computer, so they can get working on an idea without that much startup capital. Capital initially, but then we see so much capital out there chasing good ideas that you hear from some people that were in the late innings of startups being a thing. I think we're just getting started. I think the entrepreneurial spirit in this country is in the very early innings. I think we're going to see a lot more of it. I agree. And anything that can take technology and bring it to its vertical is going to uh, is going to have a chance at success. Um, for example, on e-signature, we've <laughs> right. taken the the compliance and the regulatory world of uh, of stock transfer, and we've added uh, the ability to verify somebody's identity online to be able to provide them with this medallion stamp, which is essentially like a notary on steroids. Um, <laughs> if we can take technology and bring it to different verticals, then I think, as you said, the computer in your pocket is really something that's going to be a game changer in the startup world. Well, talk about how the administration, the Trump administration, has also changed the regulatory environment. So you have a new tax environment with lower corporate taxes, lower taxes for all really and then also fewer regulations is that part of the equation and people wanting to start businesses I think so in other words I come from that regulatory world um, I had V check uh, which is background checks V stock um, vintage filings which did SEC filings we sold to PR Newswire so I'm a very corporate services focused person and if you can take regulation and make it easier you know not every great idea out there makes money that's something that all these potential startups have to to understand. Um, but at the same token, if you can take technology and combine it with regulation to be able to really take away a pain point, um, that's, I think, the secret to success. Not just to say, like, oh, I have a great idea and it would be nice if, but rather that if you've got, like, a migraine-level problem and you're solving that problem, those are the ideas that I find, and I don't know if you find that into the private equity world, those are the best types of companies. Yep, agree, totally. And well, uh, so, so look, look, looking ahead, what would you like to see done next to keep this momentum going? You know, I What's think that we have list? to be supportive of these companies. The You had mentioned the valuation issue. You know, I personally try to get up every day and just build the company. I don't focus on the potential valuations and raising capital. As long as you can make a profitable company and generate business, I think the valuation will come. And I'd like to see just people really focus on providing um, a tangible product, a tangible service, and something that really solves a problem. The most successful entrepreneurs do that, like yourself. Seth, thank, thank you. you so much. I Seth Farman, be well.